you guys, welcome back to Vaughan's Mild Aircraft. This is an inbox review on the um, Dakota Mark III, which is also known as the C-47. Right. Yes, Martin, it's done by Atari. That's who it was. I got mixed up because I was looking at the Airfix one and I was looking at the Great Wall Hobby one and I got a bit mixed up. Plus I bought three of the three kits all together. Right. I think it's a reboxing. Um, the reason why I say that is because it says on the box it's got super decal sheet and colour illustration sheet, which I think has been added in 2013, which says on the box. It's also officially licensed by Boeing. As you can see there. And there's the thing that it says there. Right. There's four different variants on this model you've got the British one the American one the Italian one and you've got the French one uh, it's all in colour as well so which is very handy well I'm just going to quickly show Martin something with these decals on his Phantom because this is what I mean Martin, right, where are we, here look, there's a decal that goes on here, right, and it's that small, you can't, because what the decal's actually got black writing on one side, and then right next to it's got yellow writing, so you don't know if it goes black, yellow, yellow, black, or it goes vertical or horizontal because you can't because it's that small and it's in black and white you you just do not know the position of the decal which way it goes so i'm having problems with these bottom ones because you can't see them right anyway yeah so this is by latari and we've got the other ones there look the variants there there's the british one there's the French one, there's the Italian one, and there's the American one. Yes, it, this was just on the box 2013. Um, the size of this aircraft is 27.2 centimetres. Right, here we go. A bit of history about the aircraft on there. Um, there's, I'm not going to read it out because I've only got 16 minutes on my memory card. I won't have time to do it all. Five, eight. Right, so there's only, yep, there's only eight steps on this. Eight steps on it. There's one, two, three, four sprues on it. It's quite quite easy steps really. It's not that hard to be honest with you. Very easy. Right. <clears throat> it's got a capacity to hold twenty eight troops or two thousand five hundred kg. Right. Decals, they're very colourful, they look they don't feel that thick, but they're very, very glossy. See, probably see the shine. See the shine on that. It doesn't say when they're made on this. Well, I'm guessing when it says 2013, that's when it's going to be. But they're very glossy. They're the glossiest decals I've ever seen. Right. Sprue number one is the fuselage piece sections. Um, the detailing is very good. 
there's no raised panel lines, there's no raised detailing on it. The recess of the panel line looks acceptable. A lot of detail on it. There's no burrs or anything on it. There's no flash on it. There's a tiny, tiniest bit of flash there. But apart from that, there's a ejector pin mark there, I think. <coughs> yeah. There's a couple of ejection pin marks here. There's one there. And obviously there's one there as well. Um, details, quite good. Oops, any. There you go, and there's detail there. So from there. You see, detail is quite good. There you go. Obviously, the other side's identical. Um, landing gear, just average, really. <laughs> Cockpit. Obviously, there's no decals for this cockpit, so obviously I'm just going to have to paint those. Detailing on the wings, very detailed. There's one slight recessed um, raised panel there, but apart from that, all the rest isn't. Yeah, there's no flash on it, there's no burrs on it. Very good, good detail as well on that as well. As you see. <laughs> Undercarriage part, that's very detailed, no flash on that. Uh, there's the, there you go. Good detail on the wheels. It's even got tread on the tyres as well. What's that there? Then we've got the clear parts. It's been a while since I've done a 172, but for a 172, the, the detail is acceptable. Some of the uh, the window parts, they're not, you can see through them, but they're not, they're a bit distorted, but. Okay. There's no rivet panel on, um, rivets or anything on there. Uh, I'm guessing these are for. I'm guessing these is the landing gear flaps. Go. Uh, that's about it, really, on that one. Um, I'll put all these back. Time on my own. Um, I've got the two other kits that I bought. I've, I'm not doing an inbox review on them. I'll just show you them. Would I recommend this kit? Yes, I would. I only paid fourteen pounds for this. The 172 Airfix one's about £23. Uh, I was trying to get a 148 scale one, but to be honest, the only one I could find was 
was oh, and it was a hundred pound. I think it was I can't remember if it was Hobby Boss or Trumpeter or something, but it was a hundred pounds and I'm not paying a hundred pounds for a one four eight scale kit. Right, I can do it maybe. Right. I'll just quickly show you these two of the kits I bought, and that'll be it. Let's put this on charge because we've battery's gonna go. De Havilland Mosquito 148 scale. This was a bargain, it was only 20 22 pound from Amazon. The D Day edition as well. Looks quite the detail looks quite good on the kit. As you can see. I think this is a new tool in as well. Um, I also got this one, which looks an absolutely fantastic kit. It's the 148 scale F15 by Ravel. Uh, very detailed kit, this. Absolutely fantastic. I think I paid about 20, 30, about 30 pounds for this one. Very detailed kit. Cop cockpit looks fantastic. <laughs> right. So I do recommend this kit to anybody. And I'm going to start on this when I finish this Phantom. Um, I'm still putting a few more decals on, but as I said, some of the decals they're, um, they're that small, and the decal placement sheet is not colour, and you just can't see them. You can't see which way they go round or anything, as you can see there. Which one is it? Sat? Yeah, look. Some of the bigger ones you can see where they go, but some of the little ones you just don't know which way they go. If they go horizontal, vertical, you just can't see them. Right then boys, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.